Welcome to 2010 Weekend of Champions. We had a great weekend so far with the induction of John and Rita Gregory into the uh, AMA Hall of Fame. And we also have the uh, launching of the new JT products. Well, we thought they'd do something different, JT did. And we're going to have a display of all the old products from back in the day, the, uh, the stuff that first came out in the 70s and 80s, the stuff that uh, basically tra uh, paved the way for the gear that we have today, the style that we have today. And uh, on display, we'll start here on the end. We have Donnie Hansen, 1982 champion, has his record up there, 250 Supercross, 250 National Champion, uh, Team Honda, of course. We have Danny Laporte's number one jersey from uh, 1983 when Danny won the uh, World Championship. And there's one of his JT helmets that was painted by David Bailey um, at JT. This is the vented gear that was really popular back then when it came out. JT Racing was the first one to come out with vented racing gear. And uh, the designs were really unique with the uh, stretch collars and the stretch shoulders. None of that had been done before. Uh, the products used to be basically hockey jerseys, hockey pads, um, Leatherman boots like that Lumberjacks use. This is uh, about 1983, 1984. Johnny O'Mara, Team Honda rider, uh, one of the most stylish riders. That's what he was mainly known for, smooth style. His gear always looked impeccable. Um, and you can see his form on the bike, finger on the clutch. The gear looks pristine. The white boot gaiters were custom with his own name on them. And uh, as far as like riders that had a lot of style, he was probably the first one that was known just to have his gear just totally dialed in and uh, looking great. And uh, they called him the O Show, as a matter of fact, for that. Just the guy looked like he was, he was in a show every time he walked out on the track. We have uh, Ron Lachine, or the Dogger, as he's known. And as you can see, the gear too, they're going to like with the boots and the pants. The, uh, the boots have Velcro on the sides and, and these uh, high-speed buckles. Um, the pants are made of different materials and obviously has a crazy pattern called Dem Bones. Um, and the gear was starting to get a lot brighter and uh, more uh, over the top. Now we're on to Brock Glover here, number six, three-time 125 national champion, three-time 500cc champion. Uh, one of the smoothest riders out there on the circuit, one of the most well-liked riders out there on the circuit, the Golden Boy, they call him. Good-looking rider. Um, Great with the fans, also impeccably dressed, and as you can see by the pants there, you can see the pink that it had on the back. First rider ever to wear pink on uh, on the motocross track. Uh, and here we are now, uh, the last one up here. We got uh, David Bailey, the uh, ALS1 helmet, um, with the Scott goggles. He was with Scott goggles his whole career, and the, uh, the cutout face mask. And as we look over on the gear and the boots, they tried keeping the same style with the shield on the front of the, the boots. Uh, they went to the buckles, um, and this is when they started getting some really crazy colors. We got into the day glow, the Flexon incorporating some uh, plastic compounds in the back of the glove instead of just regular foam. Um, the graphics are now integrated into the back of the jersey, so you can really see an evolution just in these five or six outfits, how the gear has changed, the stitching, and it's just amazing. And, and the reason we were even having this is because it's uh, the kickoff this weekend for the 2011, the rebirth of cool. 